So I'm going to do notate the intervals level two, and it might be small to look at on your screen. So it's not perfect, but you can go to view and zoom in a few times. So I'm going to click it and see what I need to do. I'm going to hit zoom in shortcut. And it says there's going to be intervals on major, minor, perfect intervals on white keys only. So I hit start and it says minor second above. Well, minor second's a half step, so I need to go from um, G to not A, that would be a whole step, but G to A flat. So I'm going to hit the flat, hit that in there, submit. Perfect eight below. Well, I know it's got to be, since it's uh, eighth, it's an even interval, it means it's going to be on both lines and spaces. So I got to go down here and I go, here's three, five, seven, eight. Or if I can read the notes right, I can just go, here's a G, it's got to be the next G down. Submit. Up perfect fifth. Okay. So here is a B. If I would go up five from it, one, three, five, then I get to a fifth. But as we know, the one exception to um, white key fifths that have the same accidental is when it has both B and F. When best friends date, it uh, has that uh, interaction with the half steps, which makes it into a diminished fifth here. So I can't just put the regular F there. Zoom back out. Perfect fifth, it says. So I need to do not an F, but an F sharp. Let's go down there and submit. Perfect octave below. You know, I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Let's see. Let's see if I can just go another E down here. Here would be that same E on the bass clef. I'd go down here. That'd be an octave below and see if it takes it. Yep, it lets me use any clef I want, so that's kind of nice. Um, this, I'm going to have to put the thing way above in ledger lines. It's kind of a pain, but major seven. What I know, first of all, ledger lines, it's got to be, since it's a seven, um, it's, it's odd interval. It's got to be only here on spaces. So I go one, three, five, seven. Okay, so since it's a G, it's going to be G, B, D, F. But this F would be a whole step below the next G. That's a minor seven. A half step below it, half step below an octave is a major seven. It's almost an octave. So I need to have that be an F sharp. Makes sense, like a major key, F sharp would be the leading tone to get to the octave, to get to G. So here's my G, G, B, D, F sharp. I'm gonna hit this sharp. G, B, D, F sharp. Cool, major seven, submit. This one, minor second below. Well, A down to G is a whole step. I need it to be less than that, so I need to put a sharp on that G. G sharp to A is minor second. Next, down to minor seven. So here I have an A, and I need to go down to seventh. It needs to be a minor seventh particularly, so it needs to be a whole step below an octave. Uh, the octave would be the next A down. So it's got to be um, right below, right before that A. And right before that A um, would be a B. Another way of thinking of it is I can go up to a B. Okay, I have to go up a major second, which inverted becomes down a minor seventh. So one, three, five, seven, and submit. Down is minor six. Okay, down a minor six is the same as up a major third. So I'm just going to do that. Um, D to F, I know, is a minor third because thirds for the base of B, E, A, or D are minor. I need that to be a major third if it's going to invert to a minor six. So I need some type of F sharp. So I'm going to go here, down one, three, five, six, make sure that has a sharp on it, and now I'm going to have a minor six. Eights are pretty easy. I have a G here, I'm going to go down to the next G below. Six, up a six, okay? I can go up a six or down a third. Um, up a major six here is the same as down a minor third. What would be a minor third down below this? Um, well, C to E, we know that C, F, and G creates a major three. 
So that would invert to a minor six. I don't want that to make this be a, a minor third. So it properly inverts to a major six. I need to make this C sharp. So C sharp to E would be a minor third. So if I invert that, put the C sharp up here, then E to C sharp is major six. A down a fifth, all white key fifths with the same accidental are perfect, except for if they contain both B and F. Well, I go down one, three, five, D to A, and uh, yeah, that's two white keys that are not both B and F, so that's gotta be perfect. Hit that, submit that. Down a minor third. Well, I know that all the thirds of white keys, when they have the same accidental, I know they're um, minor thirds if they're based upon the lowest note of B, E, A, or D. This is A, so that must be a minor third. Down a fourth. All fourths are perfect, just like all fifths. All fourths and fifths are perfect if they have the same accidental and they don't contain both B and F. So this contains only F, not B and F. Here's a third down. One, three, here's a fourth. It's got to be perfect. Octave up, we're on a B. Um, so we go one, three, five, seven, and one more. Major second, uh, sorry, minor second above. It needs to be not D to E, which is a whole step. It needs to be D to E flat to be a half step if it's going to be a minor second. Minor six up is the same as a major third down. Major third down, we know that thirds based upon C, F, or G, in this case G, are major thirds. So a major third is G to B, and a minor six would be B to G. Down a fifth, so we got some ledger lines. Doesn't matter, um, since we're on a space and it's an odd interval, it's gonna be on both spaces, only spaces, so I go down and down. Here's a problem though. This is a B, right? Here's E, D, C, B. That means I have both a B and an F. Best friends can't date. If I have this B and F, it's gonna create a diminished fifth. To make it not so small, not diminished, I need to lower it slightly so it becomes a full perfect fifth instead of a smaller diminished one. So I hit the B, I mean, sorry, hit the flat and I go down, B flat to F now um, is perfect fifth. And you know that that's the fifth that comes from the key of B flat major above the tonic. Next, down a minor seventh. Okay, um, I'm gonna say, well, same is going um, up a major second. That's the inversion of it, minor second. So what's up a major second from G? Major second is A. Okay, so I just need to go down to the next A. Here's C, B, A. And submit. Down an octave, cool. Next C below, yada, yada. Up a second, it's a minor second, so it's gotta be D to E flat. And I'm done.